You know things are heating up for Nintendo Switch 2 when massive mainstream news outlets are starting to pick up on the trends. And we're not talking about our typical outlets like GameIndustry.biz or even things like the Wall Street Journal. Places that are known to talk about technology and Nintendo stuff early, right? We expect places like that. Maybe even Bloomberg. We're talking about your more mainstream stuff that maybe your mom or dad is checking out or your grandparents or maybe you even frequent yourself or get news updates on your phone and apple news or wherever you get stuff from places like that when that level of mainstream attention starts to come to nintendo switch 2 you know things are starting to feel pretty real and today we're here to talk about a news outlet known as CNBC and an article that they put up about Nintendo Switch 2 using their own sources and analysts and all of that to basically give us the expectation of Nintendo Switch 2 this year, why this is the year for it, and all of that. Maybe a little detail on what to expect from Switch 2. Oh boy, let's not waste any more of your time. Let's dive in to this article on CNBC about Nintendo Switch 2. So as you're seeing over here, we have Nintendo is expected to launch the Switch 2 console this year. Here's what to expect. Again, this was published yesterday. All right, so it says Nintendo's likely to release a new Switch console this year. Analysts told CNBC the Switch first launched. All right, we don't care about when it first launched. We care about what did these people have to say. So we're going to scroll down here and get to where they bring it up. All right, there are signs that sales are starting to slow for Nintendo, and it needs something new. And it's September quarter results. Nintendo said revenue fell 4% year on year, and profit dropped 19%. All right, here we go. I think a new device will come out in 2024, probably the second half of the year. This comes from, hey, it's Dr. Sir Kintoto, by the way, not just Sir Kintoto, you kind of got that wrong. CEO of Tokyo-based game industry consultancy, Cotton Games, told CNBC. Goes on to say, the original Switch is now almost seven years old and sales are going down. So it's absolutely high time for a new system. Next up, we have Pierce Rolls here saying, research director of games at Ampere Analytics expects the launch of the new Switch in the fourth quarter of this year now they're talking about the calendar year so they're saying it's it, he's predicting anyways it's going to launch holiday that does contradict some of the first half stuff we've heard but again this is just a prediction so for a tool managing director of jeffries the timing of the launch will depend on the recent sales if switch remained popular in the holiday quarter then nintendo could push a new console out to the fall of this year goyle said if switch sales dropped in the december quarter the new device could come as early as spring or summer. So he thinks Nintendo will fluctuate when they're releasing the system based on how they performed in the holiday season. So he's not ruling out a first, second quarter release potential here. Nintendo has not announced the December quarter results yet. They do that on February 6th. Launching a new console this year will allow Nintendo to capitalize on the popularity of its key characters following movie releases, like the Super Mario Bros. movie. That has raked in more than a billion in box office sales, since its April release, it helps see Nintendo a bump in revenue in the June quarter of last year. In November, Nintendo says it plans to develop a live-action Zelda. So in terms of what we know about Switch 2, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So this is one thing that they bring up. I'm expecting Nintendo's next console to be a Switch follow-up, as the hybrid device approach has been so successful, says Harding Rolls. And they add that there's likely to be an upgrading capabilities to the company's controllers too. Cotton Games Toto said he expects the successor to be a new device and not just an upgrade. So not like a Switch Pro, not a mid-gen refresh, something brand new. Nintendo needs to drastically improve specs for seven years so they will absolutely release a successor. So he's like, hey man, it's been a while. It's got to be a successor. All right. Now, this is what is going to be kind of neat. An evolution not a revolution in the console strategy is likely. In other words, an iPhone model. With that comes the opportunity to ease the 130 million plus Switch audience into a familiar but more powerful form factor. And the ability for Nintendo to sell compelling first and third party games 
scaled to an audience, says analyst Moffat Nathanson, and he wrote that back in December. So how well do they think this thing's going to sell? Well, they think it'll achieve at similar levels to the original Switch during its first uh, four quarters of sales, which is around 7 or 8 million units. Uh, Moffat says it can match or surpass it could match or surpass Switch, arguing the current Nintendo console benefited from people buying games during the pandemic. And that is something they do take in note here. They say this console can match or even exceed the early borns of the Switch, but trail off as we get to the fourth and beyond as COVID inflated comparisons of Nintendo's fiscal year of 2021 and 2022 are too challenging to overcome, although it's really 2020 and 2021. So obviously, as we're seeing here, these analysts are expecting a lot from Nintendo this year. Nintendo Switch 2 to come basically shooting out the game, like racing out, pretty much only limited by stock. They think it's going to be insanely hard to get, and Nintendo's going to sell a crap load of them. They just think by the time you get to around the fourth year of the system, sales might look like it's trailing off a bit because they don't expect, and they shouldn't expect, a pandemic-level boost. But we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, 2020, 2021 were massively helped by the pandemic in terms of boosting sales in an abnormal way, although sales were already continuing to climb. Literally 2019, the sales were still going up. So we don't know where the true peak of Switch would have been without the pandemic because it did happen. But this is still really exciting stuff to think about and it getting mainstream attention. Look, guys, when we're getting mainstream attention like this, I think that this really matters. I think that this is the kind of stuff that gets back to Nintendo, right? Nintendo's always in tune and paying attention to things, but when major news outlets like this are giving it attention, Nintendo knows there's a lot of high expectations on Nintendo Switch 2, and they really need to deliver. So here's hoping that Nintendo does just that. Now, we talked a lot about Nintendo Switch 2, and one of the questions I keep getting is, Nate, we know you like to hype irresponsibly, and you're going to keep hoping to get the system revealed every single month, right? You're going to keep that hopium going strong. Like, Zuby Tech said it might be revealed this month, so you're going to keep driving home revealed this month. Oh, it's not done then? Maybe it's at the Nintendo Direct that might happen in February. Maybe it's at, you know, right before the Pokemon event. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's, look, there's the realist in me, and then there's the hype man. The hype man is telling you, yes, Switch 2 revealed any day, baby. The realist in me, though, is expecting, like really many of the other insiders and some analysts have, a March or April reveal. That's sort of where I'm at right now. I do think they will reveal it before the investors meeting in May, right? They have an end of year, you know, investors meeting that also kicks off the, the new fiscal year in terms of expectations. And I do think the system will be unveiled before then. I'm not that confident it's going to actually get unveiled this month. I would love for Zuby Tech to be correct, and he has a really good track record. It's just that track record's with PlayStation, not Nintendo. So I'm not as confident as I would be if he was, you know, like Nate the Hate or something saying it. So we're just going to sit back and wait. But I'm, I'm really expecting a March or April time frame to actually reveal this system. I don't know if they're going to do an in-person blowout. I don't know if they're going to do a dedicated digital event. It's just going to be a trailer drop on Twitter one day. But Nintendo did warn us about it a few days ahead of time last time. Are they going to give us a heads up this time or are they just going to drop it? I don't know. There's a lot of things we don't know because the only thing we're confident in is this damn thing exists. Because Nintendo told us back in 2021 that a new system was coming and that Nintendo accounts would be forward compatible to it. Nintendo then went ahead and denied some rumors last year, but then also said they're still working on hardware. So we're just going to sit back and wait. Uh, the only other thing I'm confident in, and this doesn't come from Nintendo, is that dev kits are out there. Just because I've talked to people who have confirmed to me that dev kits are out there. Dev kits don't necessarily mean something is going to release, though. Switch Pro had dev kits as well and never came out. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to strap in. I'm ready for this roller coaster of a ride. Switch to, baby. I'll catch you guys in the next video.